Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in this After Effects tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you how to create this really cool easy wipe transition. This transition is really customizable and I'm using it all the time in my own workflow. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, Ctrl plus N or this little icon here, I will do full HD and type here final, of course you can type whatever you want, a 5 seconds long, full HD, hit OK. And now let's add our media 01 and 2, of course you will import your own media, media your own footage and scale it a bit if you need, because this is a, a larger footage than a full HD, something like this, OK adjust even more if you need and our next step is to find here uh, in effects and preset card wipe effect but before that if you can't find effects and preset just go window and find it here okay now let's type card wipe effect drag and drop onto our media uh, 01 and uh, as you can see here are a lot of options in our card wipe effect for this per particular tutorial we will go maybe to around 2 seconds and 10 frames, set up our first keyframe for transition completion, type here 100, then go to 0 frames and type here 0. And now in our uh, preview window, when, you, when we hit 0 on our uh, keyboard, we have an animation like this. If you don't want to see this uh, backflip animation to see background image, just uh, go here in back layer and choose here to none. And now in our finals, we have this uh, basic animation of our card wipe effect. Okay, now let's create gradient uh, for our uh, media 1 and media 2. But before that, I will just scale down my media 02. Hit S on your keyboard, move it up or down. Use arrows on your keyboard if you need to change the position of your footage. Okay, now go right click, find here new, uh, find here solid. I will just rename it to gradient hit ok and our next step just move it above our media 01 and go here in the facts and preset again and find here checkerboard effect drag and drop onto our gradient layer and as you can see now we have this checkerboard pattern for the width and height you can play around but i will for this particular tutorial do maybe 120 uh color leave it to white and this is a really important step for blending mode change here to, to normal and now, as you can see, we have this cool pattern. Of course, uh, now we can turn off the visibility of our gradient layer because we don't need to see it. Uh, it just needs to exist here in our final scene, in our final comp. Okay, I'll just turn off the visibility for now. Go again here in media 01. And for the flip order, find here uh, gradient. Also for the gradient layer, uh, find here our gradient solid layer and really important for the third option find here effects and mask and now in our finals we have this kind of animation okay you can in every moment play around with the rows and columns and also what we can do to hit again here on our gradient layer go here in the effects and preset find fast box blur like so and for the blue radius you can also play around i will type 15 and go again here in our media 01 for the rows i will type maybe around 15 columns around 40 and now in our scene we have this kind of animation also what we have forgotten to do is to hit you on hit you on our media 01 that show all of our keyframes so grab them then hit f9 on your keyboard go to graph editor and if you can't find curves like this, go right click and just hit here, edit speed graph. And now draw a curve like so. Something like this. And now in our finals, we have this really cool white effect. Okay. Of course, in every moment you can go here in the card wipe effect and change the number of rows and columns. It's really, really up to you. Okay, our next step is to select media 1 and gradient, then go right click and then select here pre-compose. I'll just type here media 01 plus elements and then hit OK. Our next step is to select them again and then to go edit and then duplicate or control plus D. 
for the second one hit as for scaling i will do maybe around 102 and our next effect that we're going to use you can use here fill but i will use a uh, find edges effect okay and now in our finals when we hit zero we have this really really cool animation this is uh this is with our find edges effect you can see those uh, cool lines in behind okay and when we turn off this is looking like this you can also uh, instead of find edges find here fill i have already said everything is up to you and now in our finals we have this really nice really cool and modern vibe animation all right guys that was everything for today's tutorial hope you learned something new like always if you like this video please hit that like button also please consider to subscribe if you haven't already also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye